were just sent a strange book. It does have a really nice cover, though. Oh, Paimon's really curious. Let's read it and see what it's about. Dizzy. The scenery here looks different, too. Oh, what should we do, Traveler? Please don't tell Paimon someone abducted us and brought us to some strange place that we could never leave. <sighs> You're right. Better to think of this as the beginning of a new adventure. <sighs> Thank goodness you're still here. If Paimon woke up alone, she probably would be trembling in a tree hollow. Let's follow this path for now. We might be able to meet someone and figure out what this place is all about. The road looked weird to you. It almost looked like they were made of paper. Uh, and those two frogs over there? Yeah, they look like pieces of origami. Oh, by the shade of a lotus leaf stream, don't tell me you forgot how to jump. I, I didn't forget, Firecracker. I'm just not sure if what I remember is correct. <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll have forgotten how to sing, much less notate a score. You still remember why we call you Stream, don't you? Yeah, because I've got a great singing voice. Although these days, the name seems more ironic than anything. Not just a great voice, one that evokes the gentleness of early morning dewdrops flowing into a spring. So cheer up and make the jump over. If you're still unsure, just use that roll of magic thread. I won't laugh, I promise. Now, don't tell me you've forgotten how to use that as well. I haven't forgotten everything, Firecracker. Your name, for instance. It's kind of hard to forget that you're named after your fiery temper. Now do me a favor and pipe down for a second. I'll be right over. <laughs> you saw that too, right? Paimon's not seeing things, is she? <laughs> this place is getting more confusing by the second. Anyway, uh... Why don't we go after those two frogs? They didn't look evil or anything. Plus, they might be able to help us out. <laughs> Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first, so it's legally yours now. Catching up to those frogs. They were so fast. Paimon couldn't even tell where they hopped off to in the end. Uh, excuse me, honored travelers. Did you come from the Cliff of Prophecy, perchance? <laughs> the, the chubby paper hamster just talked. Chubby? 
You call him chubby. I've just got a slightly thicker layer of paper on me, that's all. <clears throat> uh, allow me to uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is Armand, and I'm an elder of the Forest of Blessings. Uh, I've been waiting here for the Hero of Prophecy to arrive. <laughs> Traveler, could you pinch Paimon just to make sure she's not still dreaming? Oh, pinching, you say? Well, I can help with that. Although you'll have to get a little closer. My arms are rather short. Need a minute to collect ourselves? Okay, let's think things through. <laughs> we know for sure this isn't the world we're familiar with. The talking paper animals and all the paper trees and plants make that pretty clear. The hero from another world, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to the world. That is what the prophecy says. <laughs> Deary me, I, I completely forgot to introduce you to this world, didn't I? <sighs> and here I am, getting all excited by the arrival of the hero. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me, this old brain isn't what it once was. All shell and no nut. <sighs> oh, well, perhaps my once glossy paper has faded past the point of no return. It's okay, really! You can just tell us all about this world now. Ah, let me think. Hmm, where, where should I even begin? Pretty much forgotten everything that happened in the past. Uh, right. I, I believe the story circulating along the pulp of this forest goes as follows. A, a long, long time ago, three goddesses created this world and named it Simulanka. The goddess of creation, who presides over matter and magic, created the mountains and rivers and gave us life. Her powers also paved the way for Simulanka to exist in numerous worlds. After the goddess of creation came the goddess of prophecy, with dominion over the stars and the course of fate itself. She induced the sky to spin and the earth to move. Even to this day, her, her statue still stands tall at the highest point of Constellation Metropole. The final goddess was the Goddess of Fate, she who reigns over all treasured tales and dearest wishes. She bestowed upon us the fierce and everlasting feelings of love and hate, and showed us the meaning of death and hope. Wow! They all seem super impressive. Sounds like they really did a lot. Uh, of course. All new residents of Simulanka come to the forest to thank the goddess of creation for founding this world and travel to Constellation Metropole to witness the divinations of the goddess of prophecy's numerous oracles. After that, they make their way to the end of the world and tell the goddess of fate about their most cherished dreams. <sighs> well, at least that's how it used to be. Uh, how it used to be? Did something bad happen? Oh, yeah. That has to do with the hero you're waiting for, right? Yes, yes this old, old brain of mine may have forgotten many things, but I will never forget the day the evil dragon descended upon our forest. It came down from the skies in an ominous black mist and ravaged our homeland. Its gigantic footprints can still be seen in the kingdom of breezes and bells. We're incredibly fortunate that no one was hurt. Sounds terrifying! The terror doesn't stop there, I'm afraid. Ever since the attack, the calligraphy tavern in the forest has been closed. No one knows why, but it's a catastrophe of the highest order for us, forest dwellers. Uh, a catastrophe of the highest order? All because a tavern closed? If we were talking about Monstat here, Paima might understand, but is it really all that serious? Good goddess of creation above, we'd take even the greatest flood over the closure of the tavern. Wet paper will dry out with time. Fallen trees can be restored. 
but the Calligraphy Tavern is the only source of the magic tonic that sustains all creatures in the forest. Magic what? Magic tonic. It was gifted to the forest by the goddess of creation herself. A special potion that helps us maintain our vitality. Well, our bodies will gradually crumple and become brittle until they eventually disintegrate entirely. Our colors will fade and we'll start to lose our memory until we can't even remember our own names. Uh, but wait, Grandpa Omen, does that mean you've already... Oh, I'm afraid so. The color has all but completely faded from my paper. To be honest, all I really remember is that I'm supposed to wait here for the Hero of Prophecy. But I've already forgotten who gave me that order to begin with. Then we've got to act fast! How can we help? Oh, brave Pixie. May the Goddess of Fate reward you and your friend for your kindness. Could it be you're the heroes I've been waiting for all along? we know that. Plus, we can't even remember how we got here, so it's not looking too promising. Well, uh, this is turning out to be quite the conundrum for old Armand Brain here. <laughs> the prophecy never mentioned anything like that. Uh, for now, why don't you come with me to the Hut of Blessings? Our forest fairy lives there. Maybe she'll know what to do. Whoa, a forest fairy? Like one that knows magic? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> She's prophesied to join the hero on their journey. Well, then, she sounds like exactly the kind of person we need. Please lead the way, Grandpa Almond. Pretty strange. Uh, that's what the calligraphy tavern looks like. Now it's lost all of its color. 